Uh, greetings everyone and welcome back to Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition with me, Kemzit. We are going to be continuing on with the Dondolo, his custom campaign by, made by Hamster in Mission 3, The Republic Stra Strikes Back. Now, um, what we shall do, we're presenting a main menu. Uh, for those who do not know how to play these custom campaigns and scenarios as I stated before or well, usually lately on my videos in hopes to inform you guys on how to play these custom campaigns make sure that you present on the main menu go to the settings press the mods button and from there on you'll see a magical search bar on top of screen over here and that is where you write down below down and there on find and subscribe to the respective language which you can communicate with and from there on you'll be able to play a game of course um once you have also followed my footsteps over here by pressing a few more buttons come over here in this custom campaign and enjoy it to the fullest of course feel free to stay by and watch uh, the show as we're being beginning to play the third mission and don't know his campaign the republic strikes a back in the year 1196 and 1199 peace have persuaded the cities of adriatic to turn against venice in response don sends a large fleet south a confrontation between pisa and venice seems inevitable and their fleets are going to clash near the port of brindisi More than 20 years had passed since the riots in Constantinople. The city of Pisa had meanwhile taken every opportunity to exploit the weak state of the Serenissima. It so happened that the numerous rich trading cities on the Radiatic, such as Zara or Ragusa, turned away from Venice and pledged allegiance to Pisa. When the citizens of Pisa heard rumors, Venice was now ruled by a blind old man who could not even find his own palace without help. Lothar and Mokovis could be heard all over the town. <laughs> oh Lord, forgive them the arrogance. They couldn't see through the Venetian chicanery. Believing that they could deal a severe blow to Venice, the peasants assembled the entire fleet in the port of Grindisi in southern Italy. From there, they wanted to prevent Venetian merchants from entering the Mediterranean. Little did those fools know that the Pisans were now exactly where Dandalo wanted them, trapped in the port of Brindisi. Venice's newly built war galleys were already on their way to the Adriatic to show the Pisans once and for all who truly ruled over the seas. Venice City in the League of the Royal Pieces soon grabbed their lines. Mm -hmm. Get in. So if I drop over here with this army, we'll be good. I guess. Um, so, what do we have to do? The Republic strikes back. Destroy Pisa by destroying three of the drogs in Brindisi. The Pisans need supplies from other towns to maintain their fleet and repair ships. You can destroy enemy trade cogs to disturb Pisa's supply routes. If you destroy town centers of one of Pisa's allies, Ragusa, Spalatum, Durazzo, and Ancona, the supplies from recording a city will stop. The Venetians secretly send one of their spies to Ragusa, made them meet him on an island west of Ragusa, and and find out more about your enemies. Hence, there are two places that are suitable for building a new town center. There, the area just north of Spalatum has enough resources, but it's close to your enemies. Alternately, you can also try to conquer the city of Ancone in the west. Pisa's ally sends trade cocks full of wood and gold to the port of Brindisi in the south. Pisa uses his this supplies to build new ships and repair existing ones. It would therefore be wise to intercept these ships. The story towns of Ancona, Ragusa, Splatum, and Durazzo to prevent these cities from sending new trade cogs. Remember that a new powerful technologies are available to the Venetians at the trade workshop. Your population limit is 100. 
Scouts, Venetian fleet One Orange has just arrived in the Adriatic. They brought enough resources with them to build a town center and start the initial offensive. Pisa's fleet to Red is located in Brindisi Grey. In the south of Brindisi is a strong fortress and an attack on its port should be well prepared. The Pisans attack mainly with warships from time to time. However, they will also receive reinforcements, transport ships with, with soldiers and siege weapons from their hometown. Ancona Six Purple is an Italian city in the west. Its inhabitants do not want their beautiful city to be destroyed and they will surrender immediately if they no longer have any military units. In the rear with the gear. Exactly. Soul Collector and welcome to the stream. Hope you're faring well. Spalatum for Yellow is a town built on Roman ruins with only moderate defenses. Um, hmm, we could maybe then take him on or Ancona. I think I'll go for Ancona first. Um, Ragosa, 5 Cian and Durazo, 3 Green each have a solid walls and train armies of cavalry, infantry, siege weapons, and crossbowmen. Screen, you see, pain. That sounds horrible. He seems to be painful. What has happened? These sections do not contain gameplay information, but rather historical notes on for those interested in history. At the end of the 12th century, Pisa tried to divide the Venetian rule over the Adriatic. Pisa signed trade and political pacts with Ancona, Pula, Zara, Split, and Brindisi and soon attack the Venetian convoys were made. In 1195, a Pisan fleet reached Pola to defend its independence from Venice. But the Serenisiums soon required the rebel sea town. One year later, the two cities signed a peace treaty, but in 1199, the Pisans violated it by blockading the port on Brindisi. In Apulia, in the following naval battle, they were defeated by Venetians. The war that followed ended with a treaty in which Pisa gave up all its hopes to expand into the Adriatic. From the point on, the two cities were united against the rising power of Genoa and sometimes collaborated to increase trading benefits in Constantinople. The map of the scenario shows important places in the Adriatic, albeit not geographically correct for the gameplay reasons. The coastal stripes in the west represents Dalmatia with Ragosa today, Drubunovic in the center. Venice would later become the dominant power in the region for many centuries. Indeed. Now, let's just go quickly try to do in Kone. I think that's the best idea to go forward with. Yeah, wait, what? What the fuck? Let go. Impero? I think we can make a few ships. We are sending our ships forward. Good. I have also some uh, troops here ready just in case. We can look around here. Let's see. If we defeat these guys early on, we should be fine against them, I'm certain. Oh, hello there. Stay there. Oh yeah, by the way, we need to continue making an economy over here. I need to not forget. And go now. Choice but to surrender to the Serenissima. Nice. Since we've done this, we're good. To go forward with. Pisa's fleet was far from home. They relied on supplies from merchant ships from nearby cities. Dandolo therefore wanted every and every trade cut to be seen. In addition, the destruction of the enemy town centers bring the supplies of the peasants to a complete standstill.
With this going on, we should certainly be very fine. I'm upgrading some more stuff here. Why do you guys go there? All the way. What the fuck? Are you read At any point, we're not going to go for pizza yet, because if we go over there yet, we'll be screwed up over here. Let us also look around over here to see what we can find. We've already destroyed two of their allies. Splatum is also another target. Which one was it again? Since we have destroyed purple, it's just yellow but only on moderate defense as well. We could then definitely try to attack them over here, which should be a good point. And we have already got some good. The you the received a message from one of the spies in Ragusa, who wanted to meet them on an island near the city. Ragusa, which is probably there. Should be here, right? Wow. The Venetians learned from their spy that Ragusa was already tired of its alliance with Pisa. They missed those beautiful Venetian coins and were willing to betray the Pisans for the modest sum of 1000 gold. So he's willing to betray them? Ally with the city of Ragusa for a thousand gold. But we need a market for that. Oh god. Let's go. Let's go. I'll definitely start attacking these guys as well over here soon. I just need a few more ships. You know, from defense and all. We have enough ships here too. And we'll create some men here. Mm. Filthy bastards attacking my town here. What's the Eastern Fleet? The Dolo had given the messenger with enough provisions for the long journey to the Far East. The messenger promised to come back in time with reinforcements. Hmm. Alliances and promises never lasted long during this time. Ragusa had decided to change sides once again. That's good for us. Sort of bastards. I definitely need more food for the time being. Also build a castle here real quickly just to defend my town. Because they're going to be a little easy and annoying. Um, also drop all my troops here. Let's 
It's not bad, bad boys. Hmm. See what we can find. We're first gonna kill the other guys here too. Let's look around. For goodness sake, they're still attacking. How foolish are they? Repair this. Rebuild this. We have two people that we can assign here, so let's go. Eight. Nice, the fleet has arrived. The Eastern Mediterranean fleet received a Dolus message and sailed to Brindisi to help their brothers in arms. Let's go. Kill their cannon. Let's start attacking them. Screw this. Dare you guys to constantly attack me with this ships? Like be gone. Wait, have you guys not beaten them already? Come on. Also I need my monk to come around with me. Now let's go. Anybody, let's also start reaching their town center here. Defend his army. Remove this, I don't need that dude anymore. Perfect. Get in! Damn it! And grab that relic, quick! Don't go too far. And here we are. The town center destroyed, we should be fine now, come on. I destroyed the town center, hello! What's going on? They should be surrendering already. Splatum has lost its town center. Hello? Or do they have other town centers we need to destroy here? If that's so, then I don't mind. No, fuck off you. Because I don't mind. I have still more forces around here that can I, that I can use, I mean. Well, fine, we'll destroy their buildings here, I don't mind. At any point, let's also find their buildings. So why don't we build another? Okay. 
put his head here. No, wait. I'll let them. It's okay. We'll destroy them soon too. It's not bad. We're departing from here. I'll be attacking these guys because they're annoying. We shall be destroying these guys here. That town shall be wrecked. Cometiero. Let's go. Yeah, let's make some arches. Nice. Forget about this guy the entire time. Oh. I don't know if it's even worth to get this ally, honestly. Like, what the heck? But on the other end, we have been trying to destroy many enemies and look around even more. We've gathered enough goods, that's fine. Let's upgrade this. There's one thing I do not understand what the AI does here. Ah, let's just destroy that wonder here. I cannot target this easily, what the hell? What are you guys doing? Tell me. Can you guys look around here, please? Oh, wow, I forgot about that. We do not have anything here. Oh, nice. Some new ships. Good. No idea why we cannot target this thing. I just can't click it. Oh, finally now I can. The Venetians Vish came across a few shipwrecked crusaders. They told them with concern that Jerusalem was still ruled by the Saracens. Rumor said that the Pope was planning a new crusade.
Interesting. Bye, bitch. I don't understand why you guys are still pestering me. Like you guys have lost pretty much. Nice. Now let's destroy the town center and this ally is gone for as well. I didn't need to do this but you know it's always nice to focus on side objectives as well and see how the sceneries are set. At any point I'll also create some more of this. Let's go, have we been able, yeah we have been able to gather these men here. I have destroyed the town centers, but they do not surrender. Oh, for fuck's sake, stop it. Don't be fooled. At any point, our allies are killing their villas, so that's one good thing. Oh, 
Now he has no more allies, so that's good. He's rather stuck. Just die, whatever. I'll send my men this way, and we're gonna get our everything else. And I can just start sending these guys over there. We'll also start making a few more galleons, just in case. Destroy that last piece of place here. With no more allies, they'll be beaten. Unless the guys decide to swap. Oh, hello. Wait, Brindisi is helping them? Isn't it weird that they can have this? We all mix some cannon galleons, then elite cannon galleons. Because that is what we need right now, too. In the meantime, I'm gonna send my uh, ships down there. I'll make about eight and then we have enough, I think. Let's make a woodcutter set there. Make it closer. Go. I have to destroy their friends. He has no more support from anyone. Even Teal is helping me right now, so that's good. And I'm not gonna attack them yet. Once we got our troops there, we'll be fine. I'll even kill some more people. Just so we can recruit some more men and upgrade this. Let's go. Okay. I just came in. Let's go. It's alright, we don't need that much more people. Get in? Soon we'll send a massive attack force and we're done with this scenario. I mean, this could have certainly been done even quicker too, but I don't think it's necessary. Well, it could be, of course. Get her this. Even though it's of course efficient. Um, I actually don't want him to be gone. Where am I? Okay, trap shares are coming. This place is just destroyed. And once we get here, we'll be fine. What's the range of these guys? 15. Hmm. That's not good. I'm kill one guy here. Now the other guys should be able to bring these forward. Okay. They'll get ex escorted and we'll start attacking the enemy. I just need to be careful, however. Now come around and let's go. So I'll just send these men around here. First, I'll make sure to destroy these two towers at least, and then we'll be able to blast through their defenses easily with both uh, men from the sea and from land. And that should be okay. It's just steel that doesn't help us that much. Like, this scenario is interesting, but I've preferred that the AI would spam more. Like, if you get this town, it will already be easier as well for you to go forward already. And for us to have like 200 population for everyone, like, I don't mind it. 
And of course, he comes around. Be gone. You're not gonna take these lands. It's sort of silly what he's doing, like, come on. Pisa, you're done, dude. He has upgraded himself as well, that's a noise. So, I'll just send these guys down there as a diversion, and then let these men land there, and we'll be fine. Brindisi will be not able to help his ally anymore longer. Let's get these guys as a vanguard. Press on. We sunk one of their ships, wonderful. Yeah, wait that out. Hold on. Go, go, go. Should I start sending? Yeah, let's start sending my men down here. Oh yes, they sure have got quite a bit of defenses here. Oh well. Alive a little. Stay around. Now bless it through. The last one, come on. GG The Venetian soldiers cheat. The Adriatic turn reds, pieces, war colors, and adapts the seas. In the meantime, Rico Dandero received a message from the farm hall. Knights from distant France wanted to meet the friend and make a proposal to the Seven Sea. It was the meaning of this. It was a meaning of crusade. Pisa was crushed and Venice was once again the undisputed greatest naval power in the known world. A few months later, the Pope called for a new crusade, and so it came to be that I met Enrico Dandolo for the first time. The holy city of Jerusalem was still in the hands of the Saracens after the previous crusade of Barbarossa and Richard the Lionheart had failed. 
spurred on by belief in the righteous cause, I and many other knights in France and the Holy Roman Empire now took the cross. With hearts of courage, we set out to free the Holy Land once and for all. It is a long and exhausting journey to Jerusalem. With the ships of the Serenissima, however, it would have been possible to travel by sea and shorten the route. Oh, so we poor knights fought. The other leaders of the crusade and I met Dandalo on a hot summer day in Venice. I was impressed by how elegant, charismatic and intelligent this man was. Dandalo explained the difficulties that lay ahead. It would probably take a year to assemble enough ships to bring all the crusaders to the Holy Land. Venice would risk a lot if they embarked on this venture, but we should not worry. The arsenal would build for the crusaders the largest fleet that Christendom had ever seen and provide us with provisions for over a year. But everything has its price, he said. So a smiling Dandolo showed us with trembling hands a contract written on parchment. He wanted no less than 85,000 silver marks as payment by the next year. Blinded by his promises, we signed without hesitation. But if only we had known back then how high that the world's price really was. Indeed, well, that was pretty nice campaign, I will see. It's just as I stated in the game as well, I would have preferred our population limit to be 200 and the AI here, especially, well, yellow could be fine, but uh, teal to be more interactive along with a green. Red's uh, annoyance was still fine. Uh, for the else, it was pretty much of a fun, but this would have been more fun if we had a little bit more challenge on land as well. But that's fine too. We're being we're gonna be moving forward to mission four with Enrique Dandolo and the fourth crusade. But for now, this is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give a like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new and wish to support it. Do you would recommend something we could come together? That's possible as well. Just write down comments box below or join my Discord server so we can have a chat about it. Till then, I shall see you guys later.